Charlie Rose was privileged to meet Pope Francis this weekend in Vatican City. Charlie was there for a 60 Minutes report and a historic conference that brought together Fortune 500 CEOs with religious, academic, and labor leaders. Well, what was it like? Oh, it was a great. Well, you've met him. Yeah. Uh, but it was remarkable. I mean, his face was so glowing. I should say that, that he stood and talked and, and met for seven or eight seconds. 200 people. Wow. Every one of them, he stood up and shook their hand, you know, and you had a chance to say something to him. Yeah. Now, see, when well, I met him, I asked for forgiveness. I yeah. imagine you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me. I also there interviewed Cardinal Peter Turkson, a high-ranking Vatican official from Ghana. He often appears on the list as a possible pope. Successor. So the question is, could it have lifted so many people out of poverty without increasing the, in the gap of inequality? <laughs> And what, the the, the, and what can the church contribute? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, I think, I think the, part, the, the part way to do this is, as you observe, not to make profit. The main objective of business investment and all activities, but to make, establish or to recognize as a main goal of business, the ultimate lifting of people out of poverty, as you say, or the well-being of human person. The point of that Time Life conference was to figure out a way that the church and the private sector can work together and do issues for the poor. I love it.